Get set for a shock. As God's word hits you now, your life surely must be transformed. Sit back and get set. Yeah. The grace that is dormant within you, that has not found expression, I stand by this mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic. I declare right now, let it be activated now. Let it be activated now. Prophetic graces, apostolic graces, teacher anointings, mantles of leadership. Let it be activated now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare the grace for speed. May it come upon your life now. Speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything connected to ancestry, anything connected to activities of witchcraft that has kept people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I open that gate for you. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward beyond any curse. Go forward. I'm hearing marine spirits in my heart. I decree and declare any connection with the spirits that reside within waters by the power that raised Christ from the dead. A permanent separation right now. Every door that has refused to open for you, maybe it did not open for those who went ahead of you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, and in the name of he that holds the key of David, that opens a door that no man shuts, and shuts a door that no man opens, may that door of destiny be opened now. Be opened now. Everywhere you have been mandated to represent the purposes of God, whether in ministry, whether in business, in politics, in the name of Jesus, the grace that enthrones you there, receive that grace now. And thou shalt take some of thy honor and put upon him in the name of Jesus. The grace and the mantle that causes nations to listen that hear ye him anointing i release it upon you now in the name of jesus christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility in the name of jesus may that grace mantle you right now and hear me from today, anyone that fights you goes down instantly. Anyone that fights you goes down instantly. Everyone who has been mandated to partner with you and hold your hands, providing help and resources as far as kingdom advancement is concerned, I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and west. I call them to your business. I call them to your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Anyone here who is a victim of the negative prophecy of anyone. Maybe your parents. Maybe people you offended in your days of ignorance. Job said he will deliver you from six things. Yes, seven things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. Anyone here who is a victim of the speakings of men, I stand by the authority of priesthood and I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you beyond your background. I bless you beyond your limitations. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the elements of creation they were designed to work in partnership with us therefore I decree and declare the wind the forces that must align themselves 
to ensure you do not fail in the name of Jesus we swing them to operation now the spirit of untimely death that kills men at the prime of their relevance I decree and declare I shut the door of the grave over you I shut the door of the grave over you I shut the door of the grave over you in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of lack and poverty listen carefully especially those of you who are called into ministry it is the absence of resources that has pushed people into all kinds of compromises joining wrong groups wrong associations with a promise of some financial benefit i pray for you the raven that came to feed elijah to make sure he did not die of hunger even if it means god sending ravens i forbid hunger for you while you serve in the name of jesus christ now please hear me i want to pray a very special prayer for everybody but particularly for those called in the ministry the spirit that makes the children of ministers useless as a way of mocking god to say you are here blessing people but your child is a drunkard i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me in the name of jesus let me prophesy psalm 112 he said blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty upon earth i prophesy that your seed must be mighty upon earth he said the generation of the upright shall be blessed may your generation be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever in the name of jesus christ now hear me when saul met with samuel three things happened that i want to prophesy over you please pay attention and don't say you are not part of the graduating students the anointing does not care once your heart is open to receive you can receive right where you are number one when saul met samuel samuel looked at him and said is it not because god has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance he said as you return back you will hear that the donkey that has been missing has been found let me prophesy restoration i don't know what left you and i don't care how long by the power and the mantle of god i decree and declare receive strange restoration restoration of time restoration of things i say it again restoration of time restoration of things number two he said you will continue going and you will meet three people all of them holding two loaf of bread they will salute you and they will give to you honor and favor let me speak it over your life in the name of jesus according to exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty by this mantle of favor i cause dryness and emptiness from your life i cause dryness and, and emptiness from your life esther chapter 2 and verse 15 b it says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her from today everyone who looks upon you and upon your ministry and upon your business your organization i compel favor from them to you number three he said you will come to the garrison of the philistines and when you come the hand of the lord will rest upon you and you will begin to prophesy dimensions that people did not know you walking in in the name of jesus for, for some of you from tonight the prophetic like never before i activate it right now for some of you the grace for leadership that mantle that was upon joseph may it rest upon you in the name of jesus
Let me pray finally for you. The finisher's anointing. He said, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I taught you last week that destiny is a fight. Destiny is a race. And destiny is a treasure that you must keep. You must know how to fight. You must know how to finish. You must know how to keep. This tripartite grace that helps you to fight, helps you to finish, and helps you to keep. Receive it right now. 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 The Lord is still telling me to prophesy longevity. Listen, the days that are coming, it is the grace that is on you that will keep you. Believe me. The spirit of death is just roaming around nations and families and just bringing pain for people. But I pray for you again. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, I place a mark upon you. May death be far from you. Far from your family. Far from your habitation. Thank you for watching and thank you for staying tuned. I believe you have been mightily blessed. The word of God has always been a double-edged sword, piercing through the bones and the marrow. It's a designer of the heart and the thought, the intent of the man's heart. The word of God is real. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is life. I would like you to always click on the notification bell so as to stay updated with every of our content and our posts from God's servant apostle to God bless you. Also, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, with your friends, and with everyone around your jurisdiction. Thank you. God bless you.